Okay, in the previous episode, we finished the migration and our list is empty. Always good. Looks like we're done. Let's have a look at the updated diagram. There it is. Our deprecated types are not referenced anymore. Fully migrated to the new APIs. Right, so the app delegate now references the quiz. Yes. The router has a dependency on the quiz delegate, not the router anymore. And the result type is gone. Yeah. No one is referencing the result type, which is pretty good. To be fair, I don't think we need the start game to create flows anymore. You should be able to just use the new APIs just like the app delegate. Right, okay. Let's give it a try. Yeah, let's jump to Xcode. Where's the start game function? Here. What do we need? Quiz.start with questions. Well, we have the questions. And the delegate is the adapter. Yeah. That should do it. Which means we don't need a flow anymore. And I would like to hold a quiz instead of holding a flow. Right. And this can now have a type instead of any. Let's run all the tests. All right, it passes. Beautiful. Let's commit. Updated, deprecated implementation to use the new APIs behind the scenes, which is good, which means the new APIs keep the same behavior. Mm -hmm. Very happy with that. That's the goal when you are migrating code. Yeah, exactly. So I just realized, by the way, that we haven't run the app yet. True. Let's do that. Should run fine. Let's see. Okay. Running. It's working. Seems correct. Mike is Canadian, right? Of course. <laughs> no, you're not Canadian. You are Greek. I am. Let's go back. Change the answer. Okay. It's working. The scoring is working. You can still go back. Let me put this wrong answer. Boom. Perfect. Still works. Another challenge could be to implement a nice UI for this app. Absolutely. And of course, get those questions from some API. Why not? That's, uh, that's something very interesting. And we might address how to do that in the future. Um, what do you think, by the way, about the question type? The question type is in the engine, in the engine module. Right. And I remember we did this because we wanted to give the clients of the quiz engine some vanilla types yeah. where you could easily start a game. This is like a helper, basically. The whole engine being generic and agnostic for the question types there. This is just, you know, as you said, the vanilla type that uh, the client can use. Maybe in the future it can go in its own module with some other basic types. I'm not sure. So far, I think only the presenter calls that, right? And the router. And the router, okay. But we could make the router generic over the question type. Mm -hmm. I just don't see the use right now. So I would say let's keep it as is. But maybe we should provide an answer type as well. Right. For example, we can have a order it array of answers oh i see what you mean yeah put in order these options yes right or unordered set of answers right or we could have a single answer mm -hmm. for the single answer type yeah and a bunch of other types there the important thing here is that the clients can just provide their own questions and answer types Exactly. As you can see, the quiz delegate or even the quiz have no dependency on this question. Since we are using generics, it would accept any kind of question. Absolutely. So in the future, we can create a separate module for reusable quiz models. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, I think we are done. We have no warnings in the project. All tests are passing. So I think we can even make this flow class final. Okay. Let's commit this. Make the internal flow class final. This is not going to break any client because it's an internal type. Right. This is our public API. Looks all good. Yep. Can probably put this into one line again. Yep. Looks good. And we are done. Yeah. I'm yeah. happy with the result. Let's have a look again at the diagram. One thing we didn't mention, but I think it's very important, is that the UI module was unaffected. Absolutely. 
plus the presentable answer type and the question presenter was unaffected as well. Right, and this is the byproduct of modular design here. Having separated the concerns uh, between these layers, we end up basically not even touching the UI and the presentable answer and the question presenter, right? This is modular architecture, right? Why would you ever want to change that if all you're changing is a much higher, more abstract level? And now that we have a more abstract engine, new changes will only affect specific layers. For example, if we want a new scoring, I don't need to change anything. I just inject a different scoring to the presenter. So with the addition of the scoring module, our dependencies look like this now. Main composes all the modules together as it was before. And a good thing about separating things into modules is that we can have different composition of those modules. For example, this main represents the quiz app project, the quiz iOS project. But we can have other applications reusing the engine. Right, as we do in the neat iOS app. Exactly. The neat iOS app shares the same routing as the quiz app iOS application, but it has its own scoring mechanism right. and its nice. own user interface. Yes. Now we can have a macOS application that reuses the presentation from the quiz app and the neat iOS app, the same scoring as the quiz app, or you can even use the neat scoring, but a macOS routing mechanism because we cannot use UI navigation controllers, for example. Right. and a different macOS UI. We keep the options open here for reusability, for maintainability, and extension. Right, absolutely. So we are done. I think so. Great job. Great job, indeed. See you next time. Bye, y'all.